Hi. Hi. Um, Milo's Hi. in here with me and Oscar and the girls are right there so it may get loud. When I was a kid I grew up as an only child. I do have half and step siblings but they didn't live in the house with me so I played Imagination Station a lot as an only child. And um, I remember still to this day I remember I used to get my mom's um, she had like a huge lace tablecloth and I used to like tape it and try to hang it from the ceiling to create like a canopy over my bed and I'd always like light candles when I shouldn't have <laughs> to create like sort of um, you know like like that whimsical, magical place in my bedroom. And when I left home, and about at the age of 20, as soon as I could afford it, I bought a canopy, like a wrought iron canopy bed with curtains, and I put white Christmas lights all over it, and I still have it to this day, even though I'm never gonna use it again, it's all rusty, I can't get rid of it because um, I just loved that bed so, so, so much. It's only a double, so um, I'm not using it now. Maybe I'm saving it for my kids one day. Anyways, I wanted to show you how you can create a whimsical room for yourself or your kids uh, on a really small budget. This room is tiny, I have two kids in it, and I have an even smaller budget. Literally, I get so envious of those magical little girls' rooms and little boys' rooms, but we just can't swing it. But I want to show you how really inexpensive, really just buying one thing, you can create the same ambiance. Okay, so here's some quick ways that we made their bedroom a little bit more magical and whimsical. And one of the ways is, of course, we hung these curtains on their bottom bunk. I just put a curtain rod on the inside of their lower bunk here and then um, put shears. We actually had these shears, but I've seen them a lot at Goodwill and Value Village really inexpensively. And then I just cut them off at the bottom. What they love now are these icicle lights. I actually found these at Goodwill for a dollar a strand. It's a good time of year because everyone's having yard sales and getting rid of Christmas stuff to pick up Christmas lights really inexpensively at your local thrift stores. And we picked up another strand up here of garden lights for Izzy's top bunk. It looks really, really magical at night um, when it's all lit up for them. And they're the LED so they don't get really hot. Another way we just created a little whimsy is with, I love finding old thrift store chandeliers and spray painting them. So this is just one I got for $7 years ago, but I, I have lots that I'm doing. I have four in my garage right now. So uh, I've got some tutorials coming up on how you can transform an old, really ugly chandelier into something beautiful for a little, little girl's room. This is something new that we just did. <laughs> because my kids were driving me crazy. We made them a little fort slash reading nook in the bottom of their closet here. And I did hang some Christmas lights, of course, in here. Um, but they love just sitting in here. And I just had this blanket here, so it's like a little fort for them under in the bottom of their closet. And I just moved all the clothes and squished them up top. It's not a long-term solution, but they're absolutely loving it. So those are a few ways that we use Christmas lights to create a little magical space inside your child's bedroom. I also tuck um, Christmas lights, LED lights, behind our headboard. Um, no fancy way, I just shove them down there. But when all the lights are off, it really creates a nice like candlelit feel without uh, <laughs> me potentially burning down the house. I really like having candles lit all the time, so that's nice at night when I'm laying here watching a movie. I can shut off the lamps and just have a nice glow from the Christmas lights. Gotta, gotta buy some Christmas lights! Now's a perfect time to do it, to shop at Goodwill um, and Value Village, all those type of places, because everyone is having yard sales and getting rid of their extra Christmas stuff. See you next time.